Hi everyone, this is Paul here from the Magdalene Centre. Today I'm going to be talking about the Uranus retrograde through Aries, which begins on the 2nd of July and finishes on the 2nd of January next year. Now, Uranus and Aries has been a seven year long transit. It started in 2011 when Uranus first entered Aries um, proper, as opposed to dipping in and out, and will um, finish um, in 2018 when Uranus moves over into Taurus, although we'll have a brief revisit to Aries at the tail end of the year when Uranus is retrograde. But this particular retrograde is the last one that's purely in the sign of Aries, which is the first sign of the Zodiac and the sign of the Pioneer. And ever since Uranus first entered Aries, there's been a mass awakening going on around us and also within our own personal lives we've seen so many sudden movements where people were desiring a sense of freedom a sense of autonomy and the right to be um, themselves rather than who they've been taught told to be and in some cases emerged as major revolutions in other countries but f for most of us it's been a sudden shake up in our lives where the old ways of just going, doing the nine to five job, or um, just going along the status quo, suddenly no longer satisfying for us. We need something new, and it's also been awakening to the realization that any true, long-lasting change that we want to see in our lives must first begin with the self. Uranus, Aries is all about the sense of self-identity, the I am, and with Uranus passing through this sign. Many of us may well have undergone a radical change in our sense of self-identity. It doesn't mean that we become someone else, which just means that all layers um, that weren't us uh, have been gradually stripped away over the past seven years and have been asked to become more true to who we really are and to have the courage to take new actions in life, take new directions which we may not have even realized we were capable of doing but one of the things that Uranus retrograde does is it helps us to get in touch with those parts of ourselves that have lain dormant and untried I mean we've all we all have certain elements of you know, genius and certain elements of courage within us but for many of us for whatever reason we've been conditioned out of it not necessarily consciously by people who modeled our lives so far they're just um, trying to do um, the best of what they thought was right. But in the process, a lot of us end up suppressing core parts of ourselves to the point where they're lying dormant within our um, being and not really getting tested. This is where Uranus retrograde comes in. We suddenly awaken to the fact that there are parts of us that um, could empower us to become very different um, versions of ourselves, more um, confident, more assertive are more prepared to take um, actions which we wouldn't normally do. But initially the Uranus retrograde may feel um, like that sensation you get first thing in the morning where you're in the middle of a dream, you're enjoying it and suddenly the alarm clock um, goes off and it jerks you awake with such a shock that initially you're suddenly wondering what on earth is going on, what's happening. This is what Uranus retrograde can feel like, especially if we haven't been in touch with ourselves so far. So the more we get to know who we are and the more we answer that pressing question that um, usually initiates any kind of awakening, which is the whole question of who am I really? Because we all have a sense of um, self-identity that which we've developed, but it's also been significantly moulded by um, the experiences um, that we've been through our external environment. But there's a part of ourselves which is uniquely um, us that does not change and depending on where we're born, uh, what circumstances we were born into, what experiences we've had, there is a core self that is unchanging, that is linked to everybody else through the higher mind. And this is the role that Uranus plays. It helps us to understand who we really are by breaking free of um, the collective unconscious and initially so that we can um, separate ourselves from conditioning influences and ideally we would take an inward journey um, to understand who are we and break down all the different layers of illusion that we've built up into our identity so far until 
we're left with the um, pure essence of who we really are. Once we've done this, we then um, take our newfound um, gifts, abilities, and sense of identity and work together with other people to create something new. Now, Uranus in Aries has been very much about self empowerment. So, it's how many um, of us have in the past may have relied on other people to initiate changes for us or just expected other people to do the work and we just do nothing. And suddenly over the past seven years we found ourselves changing. We found that waiting around for other people to initiate changes is no longer satisfying. We need to, we suddenly realise actually if we want to create any change in our lives it's down to us to make those changes and to have the courage to do so. Aries is the pioneer. It's the first sign of the zodiac and it's the sign which initiates any um, journey into the unknown where we don't know what the outcome is. We may have a certain core desire, core aim, core objective which drives us, but we don't know the outcome. Um, and this takes courage because it's very hum it's um, very human of us to want to know the outcome in advance and decide from there if it's worth um, pursuing it. But that's just not how um, life works. If we want to, for anything to happen, we must first take the action and let go of the need to know everything in advance. And the thing is, the more, the more information we know about a certain situation, usually the more reluctant we are to take action because we're trying to find the right balance of information, we want to know, we, we always um, say, I want to know more um, about um, what to do, I want to get more information before I take action. When Uranus is out in Aries is telling us, no, if you want major change to take place, take the action um, first, to take that first step towards the goal, and then be open to the guidance that intuition is providing on each step of the way to see what is the next action we need to take. Because if we don't take any action whatsoever, then we're always going to be where um, we are right now. We'll never actually grow. So take Uranus in Aries has been prompting us since 2011 to take the action to um, pursue a new path in life based on self-empowerment and to have the courage to do it in the face of the unknown um, and realise that if we do this and remain open to the information our intuition is trying to provide then the next step along the journey of empowerment um, will be made known to us. We take that step and then more information comes to us which shows us the next step along our journey of knowing who we are and what we want to do in life. And we can see this all around us, how many um, people, whether we know them personally or um, through a friend, have in the past seven years decided to um, go solo, decided to be self-employed and embrace an, an entrepreneurial um, spirit. Because so many of us are, are suddenly um, in a state where we're no longer satisfied to just work and do a job, we can see that jobs don't hold that kind of um, stability, that guaranteed um, path through life. And we're also waking up to the fact that there's more to life than just um, the job. So some of us may still um, work in conventional employment, but at the same time we're pursuing other aspects of life and trying to enjoy it, trying to empower ourselves through knowing who we are and making changes in our life aligned with that new sense of self-identity. So there's been, this has been a common theme for a while um, now, ever since 2011, when um, so many of us may have started to feel a sense of awakening. We may not have known what was going on, but we just feel that something is um, different. We don't necessarily know what, but all of a sudden the world seems to be you know, changing very rapidly as more people seem to be wanting freedom from what's going on at the moment, freedom from control of um, things like government, um, core institutions, and freedom to be ourselves as opposed to um, slotting into the different roles that society um, offers us. Because we're you know, suddenly realising that these roles don't define us, they don't allow us to express our core abilities or our core nature. And Uranus in Aries has been for the entire time has been asking us to dig deeper, strip away the layers of identity that aren't who you are, they're just surface layers that have been placed on over the years 
and get down to who we really are. And then if there is a specific dream that we have within us, a burning desire, have the courage to pursue it. It may scare us and um, we may come up with a million different reasons not to do it. But Uranus in Aries has been making it clear that relying on the status quo, relying on society to carry on operating where it has been is no longer really an option. That doesn't mean that we just make wholesale changes, we just quit our job without any kind of um, action taking place or any kind of idea of what we want to do. But it's a time where we need to turn inwards and figure out what do we really want to be doing with our lives? Who are we really? And what changes do we need to have the courage to make in our lives? Because we, we hear so many people crying out for revolution, but any true revolution that's going to have a long-lasting impact must start on the inside first. And this is what Uranus retrograde is trying to teach us. What inside us needs to be let go of? What do we need to release and just let go of so we can engage the flow? Because any kind of empowered path will take us along a path of flow that is right for us but it requires us to let go of rigid thinking it requires us to let go of the need for certainty and it requires us to have the courage to take that leap into the unknown no matter how scary it may be no matter how unready we may feel the truth is any goal that is um, worthwhile in our lives we hardly ever feel ready for them we just have to bite the bullet and take that leap we need to learn to assert ourselves and have the courage to, and conviction to be true to who we are. And in some cases, um, Aries also covers things like um, assertiveness and anger. For many of us, past seven years, if we're people who are used to bottling up our anger or trying to run from it or hide from confrontation, we may find ourselves being challenged to learn assertiveness, to learn to be true to who we are and not just give in to the requests of everyone around us, which we may do it from an open heart, but at the same time, part of us doesn't want to do it. We're just doing it because that's what we've always done. Now, this doesn't mean um, that we become selfish and egotistic, but it's time that we, if we haven't learned to do so already, we need to assert boundaries and make it clear that if we're being asked to do something which is not true to who we are, which is unethical and you know, goes against um, our own personal ideals then we need to have the courage to say no, I'm not not prepared to do that obviously this needs to be done in a loving way It's not. we should never become abusive or arrogant in the process which is a very real risk um, with Uranus and Aries because Aries can be impulsive but we do need to rem remember to assert ourselves in a healthy way which is not about um, sticking um finger up flicking flipping the bird at people, it's not a case of swearing at people or being abusive or um, shouting my way or the highway. Because every, every person has the right to be um, who they are, but we also need to have the courage to be true to who we are. And if there is a project that is right for us, that we've been dreaming about but haven't taken the steps to do it, now's the time to investigate why do we um, believe, or why are we insisting on waiting for new information? Why are we so reluctant to take the action that we know we need to take? Um, because if we know it's the right thing, but for whatever reason, we still allow fear to um, prevent us. And it's time that we learn to empower ourselves, if we haven't done so already, rather than waiting for someone else to make things happen. All major change starts on the, starts from within. And this is what Uranus Retrograde is trying to teach us. Face those blocks within us. Face those um, fears or those illusions within our identity. And allow the revelations that Uranus brings us to change our sense of self-identity. So that what we do is um, true to who we are. Our actions are motivated by a call to be our most authentic self. But obviously done in a loving way. Not in a way that's going to hurt other people. So this is a time of significant going within to understand who we are and take, having the courage to take the actions that we know we need to take, even if we may be fit, afraid to take that step into the unknown. But if we don't take that step into the unknown, then we will not know true self-empowerment. 
this is um, the gift of Uranus and Aries. It's awakening us to the fact that it's all very well and good having fancy dreams or um, noble ideas for the world around us. But for any of that to take place, we must first go through an internal revolution of our sense of self so that we become our authentic selves. And only then can we truly um, pursue our goals in an empowered way. And, um, and only then can we truly know ourselves and work towards things which um, bring us that sense of freedom, that sense of autonomy, and that connection with the authentic self that is at the core of our being and is the same regardless of um, where we would be growing up. We all have that core sense of self um, deep within and it's our individual responsibility to strip away the layers between that core self and who we think we are at the moment and shed the fears that stop us from taking action and have the courage to take actions aligned with our um, heart's desires and our and goals that may scare us but will take us in, on a journey um, of the road less travelled that will bring us true lasting fulfilment because we know we had the courage to pursue what we really wanted we didn't just give it, provide excuses for not doing it so may Uranus retrograde help clear away any confusion as to who you are and may it help you to um, summon the courage to take the steps that we know we need to take to become true to ourselves and empower ourselves going forward. Take care. May you have many blessings from this retrograde.